An Introduction to Storage Facility Management Software Part 2 In this video, we will explore the 10 Account Section icons, which can be found on the left side of your screen. Now let's get started. The first section is the Dash, short for Dashboard. It is the first screen you see when you log in and contains month-to-date graphs and charts of your facility's key statistics. It also contains the most recent activity for leads, units, phone calls, and other user activity. Next is the Leads section. This section contains a list of everyone who has a reservation or has expressed interest in renting from you. Here you can use the contact information displayed to follow up on leads. Clicking the Open button allows you to convert a lead to a reservation. Convert a lead to a move-in or convert a reservation to a move-in. You can also remove leads or reservations from this section by selecting Close Lead or Close Reservation. Next is the Tenant section. This section contains a list of all of your tenants past and present. Tenants are color-coded by their status. Blue indicates a tenant who is current on his rent. Red indicates a tenant who is delinquent. Hovering over a tenant name brings up an abbreviated view of the tenant's key information. Clicking on a tenant name brings up the entire tenant profile. You can access these same tenant profiles by selecting a tenant in search results or by clicking the tenant's color-coded name anywhere in the system. Next is the unit section. It is divided into four tabs, the facility map, unit groups, all of the units listed individually, and the walkthrough list for your facility. If you have the facility map activated on your account, it will be the first page that comes up when you click on the unit section. Like tenants, all units are color-coded throughout storage to indicate the status of the unit. Blue is occupied and current on billing. Green is vacant. Red is occupied and delinquent. Yellow units are reserved. And gray units are unrentable. Select the tab at the top of the page to choose the view of your units that you'd like. Utilize the filters to isolate the units you need. Hovering over a unit will bring up an abbreviated view of the unit's key information. Clicking on a unit will bring up the unit page. This page contains all of the unit information, notes and activity. Selecting the unit for an occupied or reserved unit takes you to the tenant profile. Selecting a vacant unit from the search results takes you to the unit profile. The billing section contains invoice and payment information for all of your tenants. It's typically divided into two tabs, Sent Bills and Payments. First, the Sent Bills section contains all of the invoices ever generated by StoreEdge. The default view is to only show unpaid invoices, but you can view paid invoices or just retail invoices by adjusting the filter. Second, the Payments section contains all tenant payments separated into recent payments and auto payments subsections. By default, all recent payments are displayed. Use the filters and search at the top to track down specific payments and the table below to understand payment details, like whether your tenant paid through the rental center, kiosk, auto pay, or a manual payment. Clicking on the auto pay button in the upper right will bring up a list of failed auto payments. It's important to note you may choose between automatic or manual billing. If you opt for manual billing, you'll have a third billing section called Unsent Bills. On the day the monthly rent invoices are generated, this tab will be populated with your invoices and you will need to come to this tab to prompt the system to send the invoices. The next section is the Past Due section. It is divided into two tabs. The current tab contains a list of all past due tenants who are actively occupying a unit. The previous tab contains people who have moved out of a unit but still have a balance due on their account. Initially, this screen displays a list of all tenants who are past due, where tenants in red are delinquent and tenants in blue are past due but are still in the grace period. Use this screen to call or text tenants about their past due accounts. Utilize the filters at the top of the page to isolate your past due tenants 
according to the actions they're scheduled for. For example, selecting Overlock and Incomplete will show you which tenants need the Overlock action taken on their account. It also lets you complete that action for all of the people listed with just two clicks. Clearing the filter will get you back to your original list. The next section is the report section. It has four categories of reports, occupancy, financial, merchandise, and insurance. The last report is the management summary, which is a collection of all the important financial and statistical information for your facility. All of the reports will generate a PDF document in a new tab, which can be quickly printed or downloaded and saved. The Yield Management section allows you to adjust your rental rates. It is divided into two tabs. The Unoccupied Units tab is where you will create rate plans that will automatically update your advertised rental rates based on your percentage of occupancy. While the Occupied Units tab is where you will create schedules to bulk increase your existing tenant's rental rates. The Communication section is the core for all communications you've had with your tenants. It's the place where you can monitor and manage all of your texts, emails, and more. It is divided by the type of communication, so that all phone calls for your storage provided phone number are tracked and contained in the Phone Calls tab. All emails sent from your storage account are in the Emails tab. Storage provides certified emails at no additional charge. All text messages sent and received through your storage account are in the SMS tab. All PDF documents, such as invoices, Past due letters and rate change letters are in the Batches tab. Forms contains a list of all form templates used in your account. And eSign contains records of all documents where an electronic signature was requested. If you don't see the SMS or eSign tabs in your account and would like to have them activated, please contact the storage support team. The last section in the left panel is the Settings section. This section is where you tailor storage to fit the needs of your facility. Edit your units by selecting the Units button. Add a new fee by selecting the Fees and Services button. You can also choose to prevent tenants from making a partial payment online by clicking on the Rental Center button and so much more. Storage has many capabilities. During the account setup process, your storage support specialist will enable or disable settings per your request but it is important for you to check out all of your facility settings when you first start using Storage. Now that we've finished part two of An Introduction to Storage Facility Management Software, we encourage you to stand up and stretch it out. Part three is ready when you are.